To connect your 360 camera to your iPad or iPhone, ensure that the Wi-Fi is enabled. By clicking the Wi-Fi button and making sure that the blue indicator is flashing, you can connect to the camera. On your iPad, you'll need to open the settings. Swipe across to find the settings and select the Wi-Fi networks. Your 360 camera emits its own Wi-Fi signal and you'll find that with the pretext of theta and then the serial number for the rest of the network. Select the theta and enter the password. The password are the eight numbers that are found at the end of the serial. You'll also see them at the top of the enter password section. By popping in your password, eight, six, seven, five, seven, you will now connect to your camera. Once connected, you'll open the Theta app and it will ask you to register your camera. Select register a new camera and enter the serial number once again found on the bottom. Then click register. This will open the camera shooting app and allows you to see your 360 image. The 360 image is displayed in a range of different ways. By clicking on the icon at the bottom right will show the different modes that are available. You have 360, camera off or widescreen. By looking at the 360 angle, this will give you an indication of what your shot will look like. Across the top, you'll notice some important information. On the left, the remaining number of shots available. In the middle, the image size, and on the right, the battery percentage. At the bottom of your screen, right in the middle, you'll notice a big round circle, and this is the, sh the button to take the shot. By clicking on this button, this will enable you to take a still shot. Now that you've taken your 360 shots, the last step you need to take is to transfer them from the camera to your laptop or PC so that you can upload them into the software of your choice. This video is part of a series of support videos all about the kit that you have borrowed. To find the other videos in this series, head to the learning library and visit the kit page for the equipment you've borrowed. You can also find the full list of support videos for all of our kit on the YouTube channel. You can also join us in the Yammer community. If you have any questions or you'd like to ask teachers how they've used the equipment in their classroom, then why not join us on the STEM T4L Facebook community? It's a closed group. You can ask teachers how they've used the equipment and also share the work samples that your students have created. 